guys, it's Kendall. Welcome back to my channel. So this is my crochet Instagram. Go check it out and follow me. I always post the things that I make. And of course, this is the top that we are going to be making today. So yeah, just to get started, I'm using this colorful Walmart yarn. Um, and I'm also using a size K crochet hook. You all know it's my favorite. So I'm just starting off with the slip knot. And for a size small to medium, you can chain 74. So once you've done that, you just want to turn your work and half double crochet all the way back across. Turn your work again, half double crochet back the other way and just keep doing this until you're satisfied. I did it about four or five times. And to turn your work, you just take your hook, wrap the yarn around and insert the hook into the last loop. You don't want to skip any just so your work can have that straight box rectangle shape. So now that we've done that, we're gonna start working on the cup. And if you didn't do 74, an easy way to figure out how far across you wanna go is just to fold the work in half and then you wanna crochet to that middle point. So for us, if you did 74, it would be to crochet back across 37. And then you want to turn the work again. And this should work for about a B or C cup. But now we want to start decreasing to give our work that triangle shape. So you can half double crochet into the second loop or the first loop away from the hook. And again guys, once you've turned your work, you just want to half double crochet back across 20 times for B to C cup. So once you've crocheted, half double crochet your 20, you can turn your work once you hit 20, skip the first loop and then half double crochet back across. So if you've been doing things right, you should have something like this. And if you haven't, you can always go back and try again. So then once you finish decreasing and you have your full triangle, which will be the cup for your breast, you just want to chain you could do about 50 which will be the strings that tie around the top so once you've done that you just take a slip knot and we're going to start on the choker part so take your crochet hook and insert it into you know this part right here between the cups um, and then you can just start chaining. So I'm pretty sure I did about 20, but a good way that I found um, how to figure out how many chains you need, which you will see, is just to pull the chain taut. I've seen a few of these online and I hate when the middle piece is loose like no shade but that's like my worst pet peeve so you can just pull it up a little bit to make sure that it's going to look that way on the person or on yourself um, and if it's too many I would suggest taking it out and just you know working with it to have it tight because who, who wants a loose choker not me but anyways I'm going to try to figure out how far up I need to crochet my choker into. This was the hardest part, guys. I can honestly admit. So I turned the work. I half double crocheted one in the center piece, the center chain. And then I single crochet all the way over to the strap. And now I'm just going to single or half double crochet all the way back across. So if it doesn't make sense, you just have to look at it and make it make sense.
And I'm so sorry that it's upside down, but I would definitely suggest you do yours upside down because if not, it seems like it would be kind of backwards. So half, the, half of the choker is done and now we're going to half, or we're gonna single crochet to the other side and then half double crochet back across so that things can be even. So if you could kind of turn your phone or turn your head to see exactly how it's how things are going. Like I said, it makes sense once you try to figure out, hey, this belongs here or this should probably go here to make the choker come into existence. So hopefully you guys are getting it by now. If not, you can always leave questions down in the comments down below. And of course, if I find an easier way to do this, I will let you guys know, but it worked for me and this is how I did it. So I just wanted to show you all that it's not impossible. So now that we're back to the middle, I'm okay with this size choker, but of course, if you want yours to be thicker, you could keep half double crocheting back across, but I'm just gonna take my scissors and snip all of the loose ends. And this is what it looks like. But in order to be able to secure the back, you can just chain about 100 to 150. That usually always works for me. And then I just shoestring the back. That's the easiest way to connect the back for me. You can just use regular string if you want to. That always works as well. So yeah, guys, this is what it looks like on the mannequin. I added a little design to the bottom. And this is what it looks like on me. I was really satisfied with it. I love this top. Um, they've been loving it on Instagram and Snapchat. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys like it too. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Share it with someone who's possibly trying to learn how to crochet. If you want to purchase it from me, you can always follow me on Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.